To Real Food. Join me for a spoiler free review of the 2003 Haunted Mansion movie and the 2021 Muppet Haunted Mansion TV special, all in anticipation of the new Haunted Mansion movie release. The 2003 Haunted Mansion movie was directed by Rob Minkoff and stars Eddie Murphy as Jim Evers' real estate agent to the rich. He works as a team with his wife Sarah, but as the man of the family, he is most obsessed with business and rich. <laughs> Great. As the man of the family, he is obsessed with business and money, and he works nonstop, which means he is neglecting his wife and two children. He promises to change and offers to take his family on vacation, but he just can't resist stopping by one last potential listing on their way out of town. And bum, bum, bum. Of course, he and his family end up at the Haunted Mansion. There we are introduced to the mysterious and alluring Edward Master Gracie, who is putting the moves on Sarah because of course she looks like his long lost love. I did not have high hopes for this movie and while it was actually better than I thought it would be, it is still not great. It feels like it's straight out of the 90s and not in a good way. First of all, Eddie Murphy makes some kind of reference about getting jiggy with his wife. <laughs> But more than that, the characters are one-dimensional, the plot devices are picked from a bunch of movies you've already seen before, and the story is stale. How many times have we seen a story of a rich businessman who needs to learn to prioritize his family? This reeks of a movie producer's idea of a storyline to make good for all of the time he spends away from his family. There are a few nods to the ride. The Haunted Mansion itself and a lot of the plot elements are actually based on the Phantom Manor ride from Disneyland Paris. And while it seems odd that they would choose to reference that ride, it does look like the most classic version of a creepy haunted mansion, so I'm assuming that's why they chose it. A lot of the nods to the ride are brought to life with CG and effects that unfortunately don't age very well, but my biggest problem is the character of Madame Leota. They do Jennifer Tilly so dirty in this movie. I know she's green because the Madame Leota in the Phantom Manor ride is green, but she just looks like a demented Wicked Witch of the West flying around in this weird CG ball and it is horrible. There is one effect in the entire movie that I did love. There are some singing busts and the effect is pretty tremendous even to this day. <laughs> Doors creak and the tombstones quake. Spooks come up or swinging down by the old mill stream. Overall, I found this movie to be pretty bland and boring, and I gave it a score of 2.5 on Letterboxd. And now for the version that I preferred, the Muppet Haunted Mansion. In this story, Gonzo and Pepe. Starting in this story, Gonzo and Pepe decide to skip the Muppet Halloween party in order to attend a party at the Haunted Mansion, they are challenged to survive just one night or else be doomed to stay there forever. And this makes sense to me. This plot device belongs with the story that is located at a Haunted Mansion. Other things in this movie that I love, of course, include all of the Muppets. Pepe had me laughing all the way through. He is a celebrity obsessed wannabe ladies man and even though he has so many girlfriends he can't find a date to the party. And of course these aren't just random character traits played for jokes. These things actually come back to bite Pepe's butt in the end. 
<laughs> Is that a weird way of saying it? Gonzo, as another one of the main characters, also has a really well-written arc. And there are some moments of some deep introspection with him that I really was not expecting from a 50-minute Muppet TV special. I think I should do that again. Of course, we have to acknowledge the incredible Miss Piggy as Madame Leota, or should I say Madame Pagota. There are more Easter eggs in this movie referencing the ride in California and Orlando, which I like. A particularly fun nod is an appearance by Kim Irvine as Madame Leota's assistant. Kim Irvine is an Imagineer, as was her mother, who provided the likeness for Madame Leota in the ride. Did I say that well enough? Yeah? Overall, this movie is a perfect balance of fun, spooky, and cute. It is way better than it has any right to be. And there are three musical numbers, the first one of which is my favorite. I gave this special, it's my favorite move, okay? I gave this special four and a half Pepe's Voila! on Letterboxd. And so, foolish mortals, I would encourage you to check it out. Bum, 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 bum.